Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, but it's a different type of video. This isn't just any video, this is what I like to call the throwback series. In this series, where is where I'm going to be making tutorials for all of the old builds that I've made. I've decided to take a part in that and to make some of the old builds that I've made before and make the tutorials like they once were. Basically bringing them back, hence why the title says 2019 City Tutorials, because this was made in 2019. That's why it looks so bad. <laughs> so, this is my shoe store. This is what I made um, two years ago, before I made the, like, after I made the mall. This is one of the shops that was meant to go inside, but it was a bit too large. And now I'm going to show you guys how to make it as long uh, as well as the other builds that I've made as well. Those will all get tutorials soon. As you can see the ones over there that are all in the line as well. You see you see the McDonald's over there. You see the uh, Wendy's over there. All of those will eventually have their tutorials. But for now, we're going to be making the shoe store, which is just a way to kick things off. So anyways, without further ado, let's get things started. Now, to get things started here, you're going to want to need all these materials that are shown on the screen right now. We're making this the same style as these modern tutorials. So, go ahead and make sure you have all those materials. Make sure you have access to those as well. And let's go ahead. Let's get this thing rolling. Alright, everyone. As you can see on the ground right now, it is a 17 by 17 block area that you're going to need to make this very, very shoe store. And... As you have all those materials, you can build the grid if you do, if you want to. You don't have to, but once we do, we can get things rolling. So, let's go. Alright everyone, so coming in from this very left hand corner of the grid, you're going to want to place a black concrete on the very corner. Bring that black concrete upwards by 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Bring it in diagonally, again, and towards the inside, and then the other sides too. So basically creating a giant rectangular prism, just like that. There we go. Now, with your gray concrete, you're going to want to dig through here by 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Place 4 white stained glass pane. With your gray concrete, you're going to place the gray concrete right there. Bring it upwards by 2. 1, 2. Leave a gap of 1. Do, do another one. Leave a gap of 1. Do another one. These are doorways, so connect them. Four more glass pane. One, two, three, and four. Digging under the ground, you're going to use your gray concrete. And then, with your black concrete, you're going to go ahead and well create the same pillar, going from exactly identical, so basically a little bit mirrored from there. So that's six blocks. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six blocks. I'm going to bring it all up, just like so. Oh, it's really lagging. I apologize. So, coming in from this pillar, and as you can see, well, you're going to stack the glass upwards by four more rows. So that's one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to place a gray concrete. This gray concrete is just going to extend the whole way through, just like that, making it so that this entire area right here is actually the window so this is a giant window on the front of the build this is basically the only window I don't know why I had to make it so basic but this is basically the only window just like that and there we go you can dig underneath the doorway play some gray concrete put the oak doors down just like so and a row in front of it which is just this empty row of grass that you should have or white concrete if you made the grid fill it up with smooth stone and you should have the front of the building 100% complete 
Now for the sides of the building, you're going to want to use your gray concrete coming in again from where these two meet up. So basically diagonally, you're going to place a black con a gray, a black concrete, a gray concrete and extend it that way by 13. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Actually, no, 12, just 12. And you're going to place a corner. There you go, that's a corner. And then you're going to take again, and you're going to bring it all the way back. Basically, but still leaving space for a for the corner, obviously. You're going to you're gonna want the corner. And there we go. So basically, I say basically a lot. Um, you're going to have this. So we can fill up that empty spots right there of grass or white concrete if you made the grid with a little bit of smooth stone. So there's only one row of smooth stone. I didn't plan on adding a lot of smooth stone. Let me, let me grab that grass, patch that up. Uh, grab your smooth stone, fill in this backside with your smooth stone, just like so. And then we'll go ahead and pick up the walls. So for the walls, this is basically the most simplest of tasks that one can do and that is to bring the walls up to the same level as that gray concrete that meets at the very top from one row so that means to bring the gray concrete up to this level <coughs> so with that level you're going to want to then also you can i think we forgot we need to do this and that's one two three four five and six for the pillar right there Just like that. We'll bring it back up again. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So that way we know where the walls stop. And as well as to have the pillars 100% uh, complete. So that's the pillars right there. We'll bring up the walls now. The walls are a bit more annoying. The roof is less annoying, surprisingly. And. Once we get all these walls up, this is the last row for this side. We'll do the back side now. Uh, I don't know why I had to make this build a bit too basic. I was planning on making it a bit different, but uh, it looks like I never came up with a with a good idea in the first place. So that was that was sad. This build is actually very sad. I don't know why uh, I I decided to make a tutorial for this. There was a tu uh, old tutorial for this actually. And I don't know why uh, I didn't realize that the building was just so sad. It just didn't have any. It just didn't have any good look. I think this is probably one of my worst builds I have ever made, besides uh, that Wendy's build. Those, the both of these builds are really bad. I just don't like them. This is the same design that I had for my Apple Store that goes inside of the of the mall. That's all the way down the distance. So now we have all the walls brought up fully. Now we're going to do the, the the top. So the top is actually place a row on each of these sides. So not going all the way around, just a row that is parallel to both the sides, like that. Now we're going to come in from either side and do a gap of two, gray concrete. Gap of two, gray concrete. Gap of two, gray concrete. And bring them forward. Or in this case, backwards since we're... Oh no, this is forward actually. This is this is forward, not backwards. I don't know my directions. All right, uh, put that there. Now we're gonna grab our black stained glass and we're gonna fill in this empty space in with some black stained glass block. There we go. This is gonna create a sunroof that we usually, that I us actually always did when I was making builds. I always added sunroofs on here because well, it was fun. I I, I loved it. I, because well one I liked it and two I got very lazy with the lighting so I wasn't in the mood for creating any lightings for the inside of the build which is what I did for the car dealership as well which is also going to get its, its own tutorial soon and hopefully we can get the majority of those builds done and there we go that is your shoe store complete and that's basically all you have to do so you don't need these materials anymore so you can put those away, or you can just throw them out since we're not going to need them. And I'm going to grab these banners that I made here. It says shoe. So. And it's, it's, it's meant to say shoes. 
and I'll show you why in a little bit. So, so you see the entrance here. We're gonna come all the way up, and meeting from this gray concrete down to this gray concrete is where the banners are gonna go. We're gonna place two S's and then place H, E, and O in the middle. So H, O, and E go in the middle. And there we go. That's it. Says it says shoes. It says shoes right there. You can now clear the inventory up just like so. And there we go. That's basically all we got to do. Now all we got to do is clean up those numbers, add the road in, and I'll see you guys when I'm done with that. All right, everyone. So this is what your shoe store should look like once you have 100% fully completed it. As you can tell by what I have done here, I have added the road. Uh, the banners are added up. The glass is added up. Everything is done. Everything that we basically did in the original video is done. So... If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to check out my other videos as well. Where in the last video we made this Starbucks and a tutorial for the inside is coming very soon. I promise. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to jump off the top of the Starbucks again because, well, like I did in the last video. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Mm, bye.